I'm going to try to make this video very, very quick. I say very quick, but for me, it's not quick at all. I would like to apologize in, ad in advance for the quality of this video. Um, right now, the camera is either dead or the memory card is full. I don't feel like dealing with that, so I'm just using my phone. Um, I have children who are awake and loud and doing things. And I also have a slight cough. Not COVID, just a slight cough. Anyways, I'm gonna <laughs> I want to do a very quick um, recap of my last video. And I, well, I just throw it. do not throw that. So I would like to do a very quick um, recap of my first granulation tissue video. Um, kind of, I'm not gonna go into all the details of everything. I just want to give someone a baseline if you're stumbling upon this video and haven't watched that one first. After having my first baby, um, I didn't tear very badly, but I didn't heal properly. I ended up developing um, granulation tissue um, where I tore while giving birth. And that granulation tissue just continued to get worse and worse and worse. You'll have to watch the first video in order to get all the details because if I go into it, this video is just going to be much longer than it probably already is going to be. So, long story short, develop granulation tissue. That didn't get addressed until very late postpartum. Um, ended up trying to get it taken care of with cauterization. That didn't work. So then I ended up having to do a surgery. So it was kind of like a guessing game in terms of if it's going to be effective or not. But it was like, this is worst case scenario and here we are. We did the surgery um, and my doctor and I sat down beforehand and kind of did a game plan together. Like, okay, we're going to be experimenting. Like, what should we do? What are you comfortable with me doing? Blah, blah, blah. But the surgery itself was quick. They were able to do my pelvic exam. They were able to remove all of the granulation tissue. In the surgery, while they were doing the pelvic exam, is when they realized that my granulation tissue was not only external, it was also internal. And that explained why my pain was just so intense, why I was in so much pain at all times, no matter what I did. Surgery went well. Ended up recovering. It took, I would say, probably about two months for me to finally feel recovered um, and feel comfortable doing things normally. But I will say that, like, it was an almost immediate difference. Like, the first day of the surgery was pretty rough, but then the next few days, I noticed, like, wow, like, I'm still, like, in pain, but I feel way better than I did before I had the surgery. And that was just in the first few days. So, um, over the next month or two, I finally was like, wow, like this is getting better. It's not healed yet, but it is better. Um, and it seemed like it took forever for the stitches to fall out, but they finally did. I finally healed. Um, and it was great because I was able to pee without pain. However, I did have scar tissue after the fact, um, that was extremely painful. So it was still painful. Um, doing things like wiping or taking a shower or I was with my husband, things like that still caused me pain. Um, and I was just, I just kind of got to a point where I was like, this is just what I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life. Like, this is just a part of, I guess, motherhood that people don't talk about. Had another baby. That baby is already almost a year old he'll be a year in like two weeks oh my gosh mikey what are you doing speaking of that baby being sketchy kind of weird i don't know if it's weird i don't know if it makes sense kind of makes sense to me after what i've like looked up after having him i don't really feel the scar tissue anymore It just kind of made sense that getting everything stretched out could potentially help to break up the scar tissue. So I was kind of excited about that possibility when I was still pregnant. Um, however, I was not excited and actually started to freak out a little bit more internally when I was actually delivering my second baby because I got to the hospital 
too late for an epidural. I had every intention of having an epidural, but I didn't have a chance to get one. I literally thought to myself, oh my gosh, this scar tissue is gonna make this experience so much more painful than it already is. Like what? I don't know if it was more painful than it would have been. It was very painful anyways, but the scar tissue, I rarely, 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 rarely ever feel any pain there. So I guess it all worked out. <laughs> I guess having another kid was the right thing to do for me. It worked, it helped. How I feel today in terms of the surgery, I'm so glad that I did it. I am really upset that I didn't seek help sooner. I mean, I kind of did, but then I got scared and then I was kind of misinformed, like really misinformed. So I just didn't know, and I wish I would have known then what I know now, because it could have avoided a lot of things. Um, just a really, 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 really hard time in my life, and especially when all I wanted to do was enjoy my baby, my brand new baby, and then I had to deal with granulation tissue for almost the first, the entire first year of his life. Again, I'm not going to get into the weeds of everything if you want to know all the details then go back and watch my first video um i don't even remember all the weeds so i couldn't even i couldn't even do that if i truly want to but i hope that this is helpful for just at least one person if it's helpful for anybody then that's great to me um, i've already had countless conversations with people on social media even when i was having my second baby and Kind of talking to the nurses about my experience the first time around um one of the nurses was like there's a nurse that works here that is going through something that sounds just like what you're going through and they were like is it okay if she comes by to to ask you questions about your experience yeah i literally had a nurse come to my room to ask me about my granulation tissue experience maybe like two or three hours after I gave birth. <laughs> I was not even moved to the recovery room yet. I was still in the labor and delivery room. If this video can help anybody, that is all that I truly want out of this. But thank you to anybody who watches this. I am so sorry for how long this has taken. I'm just really not good at YouTube. Like, I feel like I have a lot of really good information to share. Um, and I want to share it and I want to help people but I'm so bad at taking the time to sit down and record myself. Also, I'm like, I'm one of those people that I'm like nervous or shy or embarrassed or whatever to record in front of my husband or my sister-in-law. And then the only time that I can record when I'm here by myself, I still am with the kids. So you hear children jumping on trampolines and crying and screaming and running and playing. And I'm surprised the dogs haven't started barking at nothing. Um, I just have a very, very hard time finding an opportunity where I feel comfortable to record and I'm in a position to record in terms of like the kids and the dogs. And so I finally decided to just rip the bandaid off and accept the fact that there is not going to be a perfect time for me to record. I have children, I have dogs, I have a house, I have a messy house. Sometimes, a lot of time, most of the time. So, um, I can't always wait for a perfect time to record or else I'm gonna be two years after the fact making a video that should have been made years ago. So I'm very sorry for how long this video has taken, but again, I can't stress enough how much I hope it helps somebody. I really, really hope it does. But thank you again for the million time for watching my video. Thank you for anybody who has subscribed to my channel. Um, I hope you guys continue to subscribe. I am hoping to start posting more videos more frequently. Um, and if anybody's interested in my birth story, let me know. Either like the video, leave a comment, send me a personal message, whatever. If there's only two people that say that they would like to um, know more about my birth stories, I'll still make a video. <laughs> You're just playing with my... <laughs> okay, I'll come. I'm done with my video. Bye, guys. <laughs>